So it is Monday the 19th of February and I haven't got my period. However, um, I've been really debating because I, I'm on the patch this month. This will be my first period with the patch. And um, I'm supposed to take it off tomorrow, Tuesday, because I've been changing it every Tuesday. However, I was a bit worried because I thought, well, I haven't, I have um, fittings with M&S in the afternoon. And I don't want to miss that if my period comes and I'm in a lot of pain because I don't know how my first period is going to be with this thing. Um, but I didn't know how long it took for, like, the old period to start after you took the patch off. So I went on to my Facebook group and I asked everyone on there how long it took them. And everyone was saying basically it took at least two days to come. So I'm thinking I'm actually going to take this off now because I've sort of planned my week out based on it starting on Tuesday, tomorrow. Um, so the sooner this thing gets going, the better. So I'm going to take it off right now. Actually, I'll show you what it looks like because it looks really weird by the end of the week. So you can see it's just on my thigh. And um, yeah, it has this like black mark around it. So anyway, let me take this off doesn't really leave any marks, it's a bit sticky but I can get rid of that and then this can be thrown away. So yeah, I'm really curious to see like what my period's like with this thing. Um, it's not really a period, it's a withdrawal bleed. Um, but I have, this is like, I have decided that I'm not going to put the patch back on at the end of the week because this month was so freaking hard. My energy has been so much lower. The first week that I had it on I thought, oh, like, maybe this is just my body adjusting and the lime and everything. But no, I've got progressively more and more tired and it's got to the point where I've not been able to actually get stuff done. And I always said if it interfered with that, then I would, I'd stop it because, like, it's just, ugh, I haven't been able to do it. I haven't been able to work, really. I've been really struggling. So, um, yeah, I'll see how I feel this week having, like, the hormones taken out of my system and see if I feel any better. Um, and then I'll make a, you know, a decision at the again next Tuesday. But, um, yeah, I will next pick up this camera when my bleeding starts, which could be in a couple of days. Who knows? So it's around, like, 6pm on Thursday. Now, Thursday 22nd, 22nd? 22nd of February. And for, like, the last two hours or so, I've been getting these sort of, like, weird cramps in my stomach and down my thighs. Particularly my thighs at the moment. It's really annoying. Um, and I was thinking, come on, it must be starting soon, it's taking its time. And sure enough, I just went to the bathroom and wiped and there was some, like, blood on the tissues. So, my period's finally started. Um, this will be interesting to see because this is, like, my withdrawal bleed. And I haven't had a withdrawal bleed before with the patch and everything. Um, I was kind of hoping to go to martial arts tonight, but when the cramping started earlier, I was like, I can't, I'm just, I'm, it's too uncomfortable. It's really annoying though because I haven't been able to go for like, the last three weeks because I've been so tired from that freaking patch. But anyway, um, yeah, we'll see how this goes and hopefully the pain will be better because tomorrow I've got, well, I was going to have a busier day than I thought. Like today and tomorrow we're going to be like really packed and busy with stuff to do. And I thought, oh my god, if I have to, if I get my period like this morning, then the two busy days I planned so much stuff for are going to go out the window because I just mistimed everything basically. But... Fingers crossed, we'll be okay. Tomorrow is actually a bit easier because I was going to go and meet someone and that's now become a phone call conversation. So I've got two phone conversations and I only have to actually meet up with one person, which I guess if I really didn't fill up to it, I could probably reschedule. Um, yeah, so as of right now, feeling okay. I'm not going to take anything. I'm going to see how it goes. I do have, um, for this cycle, to potentially try this Pure Ratios CBD patch. Um... I decided this one because I realised as that um, the other patch was kind of working, I remembered I'd tried a CBD patch in the past, kind of around the time my periods were a bit better, and I was also vegan, so I was like, oh, I thought it was the vegan thing, but that hasn't been helping so much recently. So I was wondering, well, maybe it was actually the patch all along that was helping. So I can't find the exact one that I used then, but this is the only one I can get in the UK now. It is freaking expensive. This thing cost... 20 pounds plus shipping but it does last four days so um i don't want to put it on until i start like getting some cramps because hopefully this will actually be man manageable this period but i want to know if it's the the actual like hormonal patch that's that's helped the period or if it's this thing so i'm not gonna i'm not gonna put it on yeah i'm only gonna put it on if my cramps start getting really bad but otherwise i'm just gonna i think i'm just gonna have a bath right now and then think about dinner because i haven't actually decided what to cook and um, if I'm feeling a bit crampy and I don't want to cook anything particularly big.
I'm just cooking some dinner now. It's coming, it's about quarter to seven. Uh, it's a bit earlier than I would usually eat dinner, but I was hungry early on, and then I stupidly, I, could, I made myself some raspberry leaf tea, which I don't really like, but I managed to drink a bit of it. Um, and I just had a rice cracker, and that was enough to fill me up, so I've cooked my dinner, but I think I might uh, leave it on the side for a bit. But anyway, um, I just, basically, I wasn't feeling up to cooking anything big. I was going to make some, like, vegetable curry earlier on, but I, just, I haven't actually got any rice, so I left it. Um, I've got a vegan burger, chips, and some peas, but it's really weird. This is the this is the Linda McCartney burger, and it smells like exactly like a real burger. I mean, let me just rub the spatula in some of the smell. Oh my god! If any of you ever went to like state schools or had school lunches in the UK, when they used to make them um, like burgers and they put them in the trays. You know, actually not just state schools, it is a private schools as well. But like they put them in these trays and you could like smell when it was burgers and you were walking up to the dining room. You, got, you know that smell? That's what it smells like. It's like exactly like a real burger. It's really kind of disorientating because I just, I'm like, wait, but it's vegan. It's really weird. But um, yeah, so who's, let me, let me show you what the packaging is. I got this from Ocado. I did a, my first ever like online shop for groceries. I've never done that before. I've always bought, and bought them, but I realised... I wasn't eating as healthily because I couldn't be bothered to go shopping, so I thought, well, that's stupid, I might as well try ordering online and getting lots of healthy stuff. Although I have to say, I don't know if these are generally considered healthy, but yeah, they're by these. Linda McCartney's two vegetarian quarter pound burgers and it's suitable for vegans. Look like that. Smell like it. I think I've had these before and I really like them, so yeah, but she does really good stuff. Not all of it's vegan, but um, there are some really good vegan options there. So if you're looking for like a cheat day, foods like today when you're in a period um yeah definitely check her out anyway i think these peas are done so let me get that off and i might actually leave it for a little bit um put it back in the oven to keep it warm just while i get hungry again probably eat it in about half an hour it should, should be fine then so it's basically midnight now um i had a bath a bit earlier i had a bit of a soak um which really helped with the cramping i did have to take one neurofin in the end but that has done the trick and usually I would like need to be dosed up to the eyeballs by now so that's kind of promising um that tomorrow should be pretty good um I have started bleeding but I'm not very heavy but I also um because this isn't really a proper period it's a withdrawal bleed it's unlikely that I will get heavy which will be nice so hopefully everything will be able to be done tomorrow like I said before um I had my dinner um, had a hot chocolate. I've been told I can only, my acupuncturist told me I can only eat and drink hot things the week for my period, so I can hear the train. Um, so I thought, well, of all the things I've been told, I've actually heard that one more than once, so I figured it was worth a try. I mean, it was hardly that difficult to try and eat and drink hot stuff. I've done much more, much more tricky things than that in the past to try and combat period pain, so. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go to sleep now, and I will see you in the morning. Good morning, it is the next day. Um, I actually slept kind of alright. It's just come, it's like quarter to ten in the morning. Um, I only woke up once last night, kind of with some mild discomfort. Um, and I had this triangular pillow kind of under me. And I think my body just didn't really like that. It was kind of like gassy pain. Um, so I went to the bathroom, didn't, nothing really happened. But I came back and I changed my pad went back to sleep and I was okay after that um so yeah that was really nice because usually my first night on my period is horrendous um but this one wasn't I am kind of like mm, got mild cramps but I can deal with this this isn't painful so we'll see how the day goes so about 20 minutes ago I went to the bathroom my hair is sort of half plaited and not plaited because when I went to the loo my, my hair was like all over the place and you know when you kind of feel a bit nauseous and you're like okay I don't have a hair tie but I kind of want to get my hair out of my face just in case I did this I didn't actually think I was going to be sick but still um I went to the bathroom and my cramps got quite a bit worse so I was like you know well, sometimes when you, you get really constipated when you're on your period it's just part of it unfortunately thanks mother nature um and like I, it, like I was able to actually pass a stool but you know, like, the cramps are really bad, and I was going, well, oh, this sucks. I thought, like, maybe, I know it doesn't always work, but a lot of people have had, like, no cramps after they've fallen in the patch, and I thought, well, at least if I've had to go through a month of having no energy, I could have a decent period, but I was still kind of crampy. Hang on, this arm is going dead. Um, anyway, I've also got some tea. I'm trying to, you know, the warm hot drinks and hot food. Um, 
and I, afterwards I wiped and I realised I'd got like a massive blood clot that I'd passed, um, f f um, not in my stool, like in, for my period. Um, and I have a feeling that it's the clots, I'm pretty confident that it is the clots with my period that are what makes it so painful. And funnily enough, I have actually got some, um, oh, it's called Don Quay, and usually you add it to tea, but I took this a few years back for, for clots. I read a book called Woman Code by Alyssa Fati, and she talked about, you know, how to, if you're getting really clotty periods, you need to take Don Quay. You take it for the three weeks leading up to your period, and then you stop it when you have your period, because otherwise it'll make your period probably heavier and more painful. But what it does is it basically reduces the number of clots that you get. Um, and I have a feeling, I can remember, it's a while ago that I did it, but I'm pretty sure it actually did work. It was like 2013 or something. So I've actually got that again, I didn't do it this month because I wanted to see just what the patch would do um, but I have got that for next month so I think that's going to be my um, I'm going to start that almost as soon as this period finishes because that was really intriguing to see that I'm still getting clots even when I'm like on the patch so yeah but um, that wasn't fun no so it's coming up to two o'clock right now and I need to get ready to leave in about half an hour. Um, but I forgot that I got some posts this morning. Um, and this is uh, Bloom and Nora pads and they are by Totspots. If you are at all familiar with the cloth nappy world, you'll probably have heard of Totspots. Um, they're a British company, they're Scottish actually I think, um, company. And they sent me their pads to try out. So. I figured I might as well open them on the camera and I'm really sorry if the camera shakes at all during this because you're literally balanced on um, a box of methanamic acid that I'm not taking and some pseudocrem. Okay, so, what have we here? Oh, looks like it's all in a bag. Very nice, yeah, that's it. Okay, so, introducing Bloom and Nora, uh, reusable sanitary pads by Totspot. It's really cool. So I'm going to be reviewing these and then probably doing a giveaway as well. Oh, I like this wet bag. I think this looks quite nice. I might also be stocking these on my website too if I like them. So this looks like quite a good wet bag actually. Let's have a look. Also, they've got like two pockets, like a wet and a dry, and they snap together, which is really nice. Snap. Oh, it doesn't want to snap. Why is that? Come on. There you go. And then I thought I'm not going to bother to do the other ones. Let's get that. So they have a mini, which is a short flow, flow to light, midi, which is medium slash normal, and they have a maxi, which is longer for heavy flow, and then a mighty, which is for overnight or very heavy flow. So let's see what we can get out. Let's open this pocket up. So this is the mini, which is kind of like the light flow. It doesn't tell me how long it is on this particular little card that they sent, but from my experience, I would guesstimate that that's about eight inches, maybe even like eight and a half to nine. No, it's not nine inches. I think it's around eight inches, maybe 8.5 inches. And they've got these little wings like that. But just wrap around. Does it say like the size of them? No, it doesn't. I don't think so. Maybe they're like color coded or something. No, they're all the same. Um, so yeah, and the topping is like, well this feels like a fleece, like a nice soft fleece, so that's quite good. And then I've got this white one which is the midi, it's quite cool, I might try this out actually, um, just put some, I need to change my pattern in a minute so I might try one of these out. It's got the wings, and this is suede cloth, I think, yeah it's like a suede material on top which is nice because it's a wicking fabric. Actually, all of these are topped with wicking fabrics, so I like wicking fabrics. They keep you feeling kind of dry. That's the midi. I would recommend estimate that's 10 inches. Then we move on to the maxi, oh, which feels like it's got quite a bit of... Well, there's something in there. And this is... Like that. That is pretty, like, flower print. Um, yeah, I'd say that one's about... 12 inches, maybe 11.5 inches, and that is, yeah, a heavy, long length, and then finally we get onto the Mighty, which is an extra long, very heavy flow, and overnight, um, and the button is still in the middle, so it's an equal, like, length on each side, 
and this one is a suede cloth top. So this one is like a fleece top, and this one is suede cloth. Weirdly enough, this one feels like it's got less absorbency in it than this one, but I think it's just because they've used a thicker top material, like fleece is quite thick, but suede cloth isn't. Um, so yeah, and I mean it's white, but suede cloth is polyester, so it doesn't um, stain, so you'll be fine with that. It wicks straight through, which is great. And this one I would reckon is about 13 inches. Um, personally, so yeah, I can't wait to give these a go. I think I might, I need to pre-wash, actually if it's suede cloth it probably doesn't need too much pre-washing. I might put a menstrual cup in because I'm feeling okay at the moment, um, and then put this one on as like a backup in case I start my period, um, if I mess up the cup or whatever, which is highly unlikely, but you know, I'll get a feel for how it, um, works anyway, or I, actually, you know what, I might put this little one on, yeah, we'll put the little one on. So I'm just ready for my meeting now, I've just got this lovely, like, kind of loose shirt on, I'll put like a cardigan or something over it then I got my nice brown jeans which are kind of well they're not jeans but they're a bit loose here so that's good then my smart oh black boots as well um yeah I'm gonna get going and then I will see you when I get back I'm back and I'm wearing my pajamas again um I started cramping a bit earlier although I had to say I went to the bathroom when I got back I feel a little bit better now so I'm not gonna take any out anything else for it I did put the CBD patch on by the way I thought it was one you put on your wrist and this one actually said put near the area of pain so it's on my stomach and they also gave like the alcohol swab with this one which I've not had before so I don't know I saw some really good reviews on it online but I don't know how it will hold up to like really bad pain so I mean I am I have got mild cramps again which is kind of like what I had before I took Neurofen and I, I put this on as well, but it didn't kick in so I took some Neurofen um, and now that's worn off um, Maybe it's helping a bit. I'm not sure. I'll see like I'll be fine for the rest of the day. I think um, It is coming up to what time is it? Watching the YouTube video. I can't see what that's on there. It's like 20 past 5 now um, I've got somebody I've got my current guest leaving at 6 and then I don't know if I, I think I have a French lesson at 6.30, but I've messaged the, the tutor who I'm trying to, because I'm trying to learn French at the moment. Um, my mom can, why am I orange? Oh, excuse the lighting. Um, my mom can speak French and Spanish, actually, conversationally. I wouldn't say she's fluent, um, but really good. And I, we go to France so much, I just feel like I should really know more French than I do. So I decided to start taking some classes. But I accidentally missed one last week because I wasn't sure if it was happening and I messaged her and she didn't get back to me until like literally 10 minutes past the time I was supposed to be there. And then I was like, oh darn it, I missed it. And then later, about half an hour later, she was like, where are you? But I, I wasn't near them and she hadn't said, are you still coming? So I was like, oh great. Um, and then I messaged again today and I was like, oh well fine, I'll, I'll cover it, whatever. Um, but... I haven't heard back from her about whether or not I've got a class today so yeah I did message her like quite early this morning like earlier today so she had a long time to check it but we'll see okay I've, I bought Chinese I was debating whether or not to actually like cook dinner tonight um, but I decided that I meant to go and get some rice but I wasn't feeling well enough earlier and I had like a lot of vegetables that I need to cook in like a curry um, oh I do have couscous I could have done that but oh well I felt like Chinese, I feel like treating, I always seem to have Chinese on my period, it's the one thing that kind of cheers me up, because I don't have takeaway any other time. Um, let me just pull these curtains. So yeah, I just figured I would grab some for tonight, and also I'm going away on Tuesday, I'm going on a holiday with my family, so I don't want to get too much stuff in um, to cook with, because I'm bent, I'm not going to be here for the next few days. Uh, but so far, like my period, I've noticed, I told you when I got back I was kind of cramping a bit. I also needed the loo just to pee. And I've noticed that when I do need to pee, like, the pain kind of comes back a little bit. So I think it's more just the pressure of my bladder pressing on my uterus as opposed to, like, actually period pains. Because when I go, it seems to stop, which is great because it means I haven't had to take any, like, payments or anything. Which, of course, is awesome. Um, so yeah, I am, I'm actually not going to eat just yet. I'm going to leave it about half an hour till it's half eight. And then I will have some food. Um, and then I'll probably have a soak in the bath as well, later on. So it's approaching, um, uh, 11 o'clock now in the evening, and, um, yeah, so far today's been, it's been pretty good. Well, I say so far today, it's basically over. <laughs> basically today has been pretty good, actually. Um, like, I have had cramp. I can't remember how much I've already said on here, so you have to forgive me if I'm repeating stuff, but, like, I have had cramps, but they haven't been as bad as they would have been beforehand and also I think this patch I don't know if I showed it to you but like 
it's just this little CBD, it's this weird little circle thing, um, but it lasts four days, so, oh, focus camera, thank you, it lasts four days, and I think it has helped, like, in the latter hours of the day, I think it took a little while to sort of start to kick in, though, um, but yeah, I'm going to keep it on, hopefully I won't need to take anything else from now, but I feel pretty good, which is awesome, I did have a bath that had a bit of a soak, and, um, had my dinner and I'm debate. I'm like really craving pancakes now. I'm really debating going and making some, particularly because I have like half. Of, well, not half. I have a banana left to use up. It's quite speckly, so I want to use it up before it goes black. Um, and I could use it to make some pancake batter, which I'm really craving, so I might do that. <laughs> um, yeah. So I'll, I'll have a thing. Um, it depends how much energy I, whether I can be bothered to do it. Actually, I can make some pancake batter, and make some pancakes, which would be great. But um. In case I don't, I'm going to leave the vlog here. I took my menstrual cup out. I was using a menstrual cup earlier on today, which is, like, unheard of for me to use my cup on. It was basically the third day, because yesterday I only really had spotting in the evening, and I didn't really start until overnight. Um, but, yeah, like, it's it's unheard of for me to be able to use a menstrual cup on, like, the first or second day recently. So I, that was good to be able to do that today. Um, and I'd use my ruby cup again, which I really like. It's a nice soft cup and held everything, no problem, so yeah. I've got a pad on now, but I probably will put the cup back in um, overnight. And I've got, actually I've got another brand of cup I need to try out, so I might actually get around to doing that, which would be good. So yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. I know there wasn't like a lot of, um, you know, moving around in this vlog and showing stuff. If I, I was originally gonna travel up to London earlier on today, but actually it was quite good I didn't, because I had a way of cramping at that point, and also I was just a bit tired. Um, but I couldn't have filmed my later meeting because it was like a, it was a um, confidential one. But uh, yeah, otherwise I would have done a bit more out and about stuff. But yeah, I will be away by the time this video goes up. So there won't be a video on Friday, but I really hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Do please subscribe. Don't forget you can get cough pads and menstrual cups from my website, Precious Stars. And let me know if there are any videos you'd like to see and I'll see if I can get around to doing them. Okay, guys, catch you later.